Hey there. I am glad you could join me today. I thought today we could go over Camtasia 2022's ruler feature. I've also developed my own grid templates that I'm going to give to you for free. I find using grids really helps me in the design of my library assets and templates. I think that you'll find this information beneficial for your own videos. So let's get into it. To see the Camtasia 2022 ruler on your screen, you can go to View, Show Canvas Ruler. The faster way is to click on Control plus Shift R. To turn it off, click on Control plus Shift R again. The horizontal and vertical centers are at zero. For a 1920 by 1080 video, the horizontal ends of the canvas are 960 on either end, which equals 1920. The vertical ends of the canvas are 540 and 540 on either end, which equals 1080. The rule measurements will change dependent on the size of the video you are creating. For example, here is 2K, 4K, a square 1080, and a custom 800 by 200. Let's set it back to 1920 by 1080. No matter where you move the canvas around the screen, the center zero always remains with the canvas. You can bring in guidelines by dragging from the left or the top. You can have as many guidelines as you want. As you can see, one of the current cons is the guidelines don't automatically snap to the tick lines on the ruler. When you add a clip or annotation, you can easily snap to the guidelines. This is great. However, if you want to adjust the annotation or clip a little more and don't hit the bounding box correctly, it moves the guideline. You can't undo with Ctrl and Z to automatically move that guideline back to its original position. That's a major con to me. This is the reason I developed my own library of grids. All these grids help in designing how I lay out my video and video templates. I can have objects snap to the grid lines without worrying about the lines moving. I think I forgot to say, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, you can have the grid on the bottom or the top track, whichever way you like to work. I tend to use the 32 by 18 grid more when I have many assets on the canvas and the 16 by 9 when I have fewer items. Now, if you don't like the green lines, you can always change the grid line color and properties. You can also change the opacity. The grid lines are set at 1, which is the best in my opinion, so the thickness doesn't distract from the design. Now let's look at the other grids. These can help when you are trying to design a layout that is pleasing to the eye. The diagonal grid is great for any designs or video placements when you want to have the attention drawn to the center of the screen. Great for hallways, corridors, highway shots, and other graphic designs. The rule of thirds grid most people know. This is where you would want to place your main object on one of the grid lines or the intersection of the grid lines. So if it was a person in the video, to add a little more interest, Rather than having them dead center, you would place them on the intersecting lines. If possible, with either their eye or eye line at that intersection, or even the center vertical of their face. This compared to this. Next up is the golden ratio spiral grid, which is based on a mathematical equation by Fibonacci that is usually more pleasing to the viewer. This spiral can be found in nature quite a bit. We won't get into the mathematics of the Golden Ratio because one, that would be a whole other video in of itself, and I'm not great at math. So I'll explain it in easy to understand layman's terms. Basically, 
With the golden ratio spiral, the main subjects or sections of an image, graphic, or video would follow either the flow and curvature of the spiral, or they would fall within each of the grid sections, so they almost could stand on their own as a point of interest. Let's look at this image, how it falls within the spiral, then how each section can almost stand alone as an image in of itself. Next, the golden ratio grid in red is like the rule of thirds grid in green. You can see they are very close to each other. With the golden ratio grid, you would also want to place the main subject on one of the intersecting lines, like this. It's not that much of a difference between the rule of thirds, but just enough to make a difference in the look and feel of the image. The last grid is the golden triangle. The same idea of making sure the main areas of an image, video, or graphic fall somewhere within these sections. Many times I will use two grids together as this will greatly help in determining where I want to place objects or a person and where I want to line up the text. On occasion, I'll also use a ruler and a guideline when I want something a fraction away from a grid line. So let me know what you think about these grids in the comments uh, section below. As I mentioned, they are free to download or if you want to give me a small donation, your choice, it's up to you, but it's perfectly free. The link uh, from TopShelfVideoAssets.com is provided in the description below. And in the following weeks, I plan on providing many new templates, assets, and items that will help you with your video editing. And uh, also look for a new library asset or template every Monday, starting with this quarter we'll be seeing a lot more of each other throughout the year. I look forward to your comments, and as always, until we meet again, have a wonderful day.